Tonight, the 47th annual Oneida Pow Wow kicked off with the nation's traditional dances and music. But this year's ceremonies are about more than tradition. It's also about honoring tribal members gone far too long. Local 5's Robin Oguinia has more live in the studio. Robin? Aaron, the powwow promotes honoring the beauty that is the Oneida culture, but this year's event is reuniting the remains of three Oneida girls with their families and the tribe more than 100 years after they died. More than a century ago, more than 300 Oneida children were sent to boarding school in Pennsylvania under a law that Native children could not live with their parents during what was an era of assimilation. Three of them are now home, and Friday's powwow was held in their honor. When I think of a young child that far from home and on their deathbed and sick and just wanting mom and dad or just to go home, the only right thing was to bring them home. The three remains that have been brought back to their birthplace are 18-year-old Ophelia Paulus and 16-year-olds Jemima Matoxin and Sophia Kaulong. They died at a military boarding school known as the Carlisle Indian Industrial School. Generations later, their third and fourth cousins worked with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in coordination with the Carlisle Army Barracks to have their remains examined by forensic anthropologists to identify them. What was surprising in going through the process, the emotions that came up, and I, I didn't know these children. And viewing the remains and rewrapping them just brought up all kinds of emotions and the stories that you hear of the people that survived the boarding schools. The process in total took two years. The Army National Military Cemeteries paid the expenses for nine individuals who made their trip from Oneida to bring their ancestors home. The tribe, including the spiritual advisor, says this experience proves more of those 300 children can be brought back. I believe our experience was very positive, and so this might encourage other families to work with the Army Corps of Engineers, the Army National Military Cemeteries uh, in the same project. The actual burial and ceremony will be Sunday at Church of the Holy Apostles. Ophelia Paulus will be buried at the Holy Apostles Cemetery, Jemima Matoxin and Sophia Kalon at the Oneida Sacred Burial Grounds. Local 5 will be there to bring you the sights and sounds of that ceremony. In the studio, Robin Oguinye, Local 5 News.